Olympic security is a key priority for the armed forces and RAF Bulma is crucial to homeland defence. Forces News was given access on the day a very special visitor called in, as James Banks now reports. Deep inside the bunker at RAF Bulma, the Prince was given a tour of the air surveillance and control system that monitors the airspace over the United Kingdom. He met some of those who will be watching the skies over London this summer and saw how the Olympic Air Security Plan will operate. He was very engaged, as you'd expect uh, an aviator, uh, with two sons who are also aviators, uh, with obviously a very detailed understanding of what we do in the Royal Air Force. Uh, very interested to hear uh, the details of the plan and uh, asked some very good questions, as well as talking to a wide variety of people from the station. So it was a great honour to have him here. Despite being more than 300 miles north of London, the work being done here is at the very heart of the Olympic Air Security Plan. The role of Royal Air Force Bulma and the Air Surveillance and Control System, which is headquartered here, is to provide a picture, if you like, uh, to contribute to the uh, awareness of what's going on around the London area and all the other Olympic venues so that we can be sure that what's flying is uh, allowed to be there and we can, uh, if necessary, take any preventative measures. Measures that could result in RAF typhoons being scrambled, helicopters with snipers being launched, or even air defence missiles fired. These, of course, would be a last resort, and their job here is firstly to coordinate and give an early warning of anything unusual in the airspace. There's a, a range of surveillance assets, radars and actually visual observers also around the London area. Um, our role is to fuse all that information into one recognised air picture. Like Olympic athletes, those working here have been training hard in preparation for the Games. But unlike the competitors, those in the bunker are hoping for a quiet and uneventful summer. James Banks, Forces News, RAF Bulmer.